Hello everybody. Today I'm going to be making a Christmas ornament and in yesterday's video I showed how I mark my ornaments if I'm going to do an all over pattern. So this one's going to go wrap all the way around it. So I have a line here and I marked it into quarters so I can keep everything basically even. Now if you look in the top right hand corner I'll put a link to that video if you need to go watch that one first. And there'll also be a link in the description as well. So let's get started. I'm going to be working with Christmas colors. So I got red and greens and some yellows and a white. So we'll go from there. I'm going to start with this Kelly green color. And the first thing I'm going to do is do just a row with the number 10 with this Kelly Green. So I'm going to look to where my lines are and put a dot. And if you base it like this, you can make sure you have like an even amount of dots around. So if you want to skip one, it'll come out evenly. So now I'm going to put a dot in between. Okay, and then one in between again. Now I'm going to go down to a smaller size. Let's go to a number, oh, number five. And obviously I was in a hurry when I marked it yesterday because they're not completely even the way I would like them. But you get the idea, so we're okay. I'm going to keep going. Now I'm going to come in with this True Red. And I'm just going to work on filling this ornament up. So I'm going to go with this number 10 and do a dot above the smaller ones we just did. Okay, now I'm going to switch to the white. And this is warm white. The number six. I'm going to put a dot in between those reds. No, I'm going to go still with the number six and do a dot above the reds. Now I'm going to go down to the number three and I'm going to put two dots, one on each side. Kind of make it a triangle pattern. Okay, now I'm going to come in with this primary yellow. And I'm going to go to a fairly decent sized dot. Let's go to like the number eight. And I'm going to do a dot right above that triangular we just did. Right off of that top white dot. I think I'm going to skip every other one. Okay, now I'm going to walk some dots. I'm going to go with the number two and use the number one. Or, no. Go with the number two and use the white and walk dots around these. Okay, now I'm going to move up to the number three. Now I'm going to walk some green dots around those same ones. Okay. 
And I'm going to come in with a red color, in that same red color, with a number five. And do a dot right above these white ones. And then I'm going to go with the number nine. And I'm going to put a white dot above that one. And I'm going to come in with the number four and do a white dot right in the middle of those green ones. And then I'm going to go down to the three and put one more dot on either side to connect them. And then I'm going to come in with that yellow again, I think, and do one more dot. Let's go with the number six. I'm going to do a dot right off of the center white dot on each one of those. Okay, now I'm going to give this a minute to dry, and I'll be right back. Now we're going to work uh, going towards the bottom of this because I can hold up here and flip it over. But I'm going to do a couple rows before I turn it, I think. I'm going to go with the number 10 and do a white dot right below those smaller ones. Okay, now I'm going to come in with the yellow again, with this number six, and I'm going to do a dot in between those white ones. And now I'm going to do some big red dots. I'm going to go off of those yellow ones, and I'm going to do uh, number eight, I guess. I want to kind of mimic this pattern going here, down here. So I'm going to use these big white dots, like the base of these. And so I want to put a fairly decent sized dot on top, but not that huge. Let's go to the number six. And I'm going to put a white dot on top of each of those red ones. And I'm going to go down to the number three. And I'm probably going to need to do at least two, maybe three dots. Because I'm going to walk them to that one. Alright, now I want to add some green dots down in between these. And I think I'm going to do every other one. So I'm going to go with a number 10 and just do it right in between. Now I'm going to take white again. And I'm going to do a number 4. I'm going to do a dot right on the top. Okay, now I'm going to go down to the number three and I'm going to walk dots down to each side. Now I'm going to come in with the number four in yellow. I'm going to go in between here and do two dots. I'm going right even in between the white dots for the top one. The number eight, 
I'm going to do a big dot right off of those that we just walked down. Now I'm going to turn it the other direction to see what we're looking like. And we do have a, quite a big base that's not done, but really, the ornament is pretty well covered when it's hanging. You're not going to see that. So I think I'm going to call it quits on the pattern and just let this dry and come back for top dots. So I'll be right back. Okay. So I'm going to first dot on the yellows. I've got this lemon yellow color, which is a lighter yellow. I'm going to do these ones right at the top. And let's go with a number three. Okay, and then these I'm going to do with a number four. Well, I got the number four. I'm going to dot on those white ones. Let's go with the Kelly green color. And these little reds here, I think I'm going on to the number two. And I want to dot, I think I'm going to do that light yellow on them. So on these here, and the all the bigger white dots, like this one here, the pointy, the top point, and then this one here. I'm going to dot all those with that Kelly green with the number two. Now on those big red ones, I'm going to dot white. And I'm going to use the number seven. Okay, and then on these big green ones here, I'm going to go to the number six. And I've got this sour apple I'm going to use. I'm going to dot red on these whites. I'm going to go with the number six. Okay, and then I'm going to come in with the, well, let's go in the number five with white and do those red ones. Now I've come to the point where I need to flip this over. Okay, I'm going to do the sour apple on these green ones with the number six. I'm going to go down to the number five and I'm going to dye that yellow, that lighter yellow onto the darker yellow. Let's go with the number three and I'm going to dot that bright red color back onto where we dotted the white in this row. Alrighty, and there we have it. I hope you like it. If you're not a subscriber, I would love to have you. And I will talk to you all tomorrow. Bye.